I wanted to talk a little bit today about just how we do EFT and it's not talk therapy, it's moving energy. And we do that while we are tapping on the body on these different acupressure points. And the points that we choose each have a purpose and I'll go into each of those a little bit more in other videos. But when we when we're left to our conscious brain, we can get often this monkey mind where we're kind of thinking of everything. And there's a lot of repetition with EFT where it's giving that monkey a banana, a banana, focus on this, focus on this, focus on this. And it's in that slowing down and really addressing what's coming up in the moment in the body and um, feelings that allows these shifts to occur. And we do that while we're tapping on specific points that, uh, that send the body this information that the body is safe right now. Uh, the body does not know what to do with conflicting information, so it goes with the more powerful message, which is a physical stimulus. <clears throat> so the main points that we tap on are the side of the hand or the karate chop point. So you, you tap right where you would do a karate chop and it can be either hand, doesn't matter. And then we do the top of the head. And then we do the inside of the eyebrow, right here. And you can do one hand or two. You can do multitask with one hand. And then if you picture a skull, there's this circle where the eye socket is. So one of the points that we just did is right here. Another point is on the outside of that eye socket, right here and then at the bottom of the eye socket. And again, it doesn't matter what, um, what hand you use. You can even do both if you'd like. The next point is under the nose and then under the lip and then the collarbone. And this could be one hand, both hands. You do it that way. And then the monkey point under the under the arms and this is kind of right where your ribs are and that is the basic points that we tap on while we just repeat backwards that are coming up for people and we all store information and pain in a very specific way in our brain and that's why I like to really utilize the words specifically that clients use because that speaks directly to how it was categorized. And it's very gentle and it can go as slow as it needs to go. There's 48 different techniques that we can use depending on what's coming up and how it would best serve you. And it meets you where you're at which is really great. You don't have to jump right into the fire. We can step way back from the fire and just approach it slowly because it can be in layers. And so sometimes it's best to just start out here where it's the most comfortable with some distance. And then we can start to move in as it's comfortable. And we just follow the client's lead the whole time. And so it's a very, a uh, beautiful process that honors everyone where they're at. There's no judgment and it can be very, very simple. It's guided through the whole time. You don't have to know what to say. It just, we address whatever comes up. I'll be doing more videos to help you understand this process and EFT and what a wonderful technique this truly, truly is. Have a great day.